Hey, just wanted to come on here for a second and show you what I've been working on. So, here we have the cute little, I think they're cute anyway, gnome jars. Because everybody's making gnomes, but I thought they were cute. But I wanted mine to be jars so you could put like candies inside to hide from the kids or grandkids, that kind of thing. I also made this a little bit back for Halloween, but then I got to thinking about it, and I thought, well, that's Nightmare Before Christmas, so, um, I can't remember her name, but I was thinking on doing a doll to match, um, the girl one, can't remember her name, but anyway, I've been thinking about doing a girl doll head, not the whole doll, but just the head, and then putting it on a little wreath to have them together for Christmas, and then we have these little pumpkins, That a friend of mine wanted me to make. She wanted it a different way. But um, that's just how I roll. I just make things that. How I prefer them to be made. I get, if that makes sense. Like it wasn't a very specific. But I just didn't like the pumpkins that she showed me initially. Anyway. Flipping the camera around. Because I'm walking to another room. And I don't need to make anybody too too dizzy walking around um also flipping it around again this is for my granddaughter i made that a while back and that's for my oldest granddaughter my grandson he has his at home already this is their bed so this is the wreath that I was planning on decorating for the doll heads, whatever their names are. I know Jack Skellington and the other one I forget. But anyway, this is for my granddaughter Addison. It's kind of dark in here, but it's different. This I made forever ago and just haven't put it up. I've got to finish this. It's all the way made and done and everything. Um another hat plain forever ago but I gotta sew in this duck graph and this is what I made on a live I believe and there's another matching set that in my opinion isn't finished because it just doesn't have anything you know for for about it but I thought it was cute with the little the what you call it puffy ball thing and I've got stuff over here in this bag little rabbits for Easter yeah uh, kind of trying to get everything in order eventually I just finally got this room somewhat cleaned yesterday somewhat um, yes, this is our dining room because small house, so this is whenever the grandkids come over. That's their bed. Oh, and me. I was a cute little girl. Anyway. What else we got going on? Because I made a lot of stuff, but I have a really bad habit of... Not putting pictures up of anything that I make, but I guess that's all that I really have out and available because everything else is um at the, oh that's not all this I have I'm trying to get it spread across the couch somewhat. I've got to sew in the end of this, but I'm also done with that. I know not very pretty. But, you got to do what you got to do whenever you're bored. But, that's one of the donation afghans that I made from the yarn that was donated to me. And, that's how it, how it goes. I have yarn donated, but, um, and I get it from different places. And most of the time, whenever I do get in, um, yarn that has been donated, 
usually it's a little bit of this, very little bit of this, very little bit of that. So I never really get enough to make anything really matching well. So I have to make what I can make. Um, but the reason why I don't really take time to match it up, make sure that it all flows, is not out of because I want to make an ugly blanket, because in my opinion, that's just not ugly. I'll try and get the colors to match somewhat accordingly. Like if I have a bunch of pinks, then I'll add in yellow and purple and bright rainbowy colors but if i have orange and blue then you know, i'll try and keep along with that color scheme so it's not perfect but i'm just trying to get them done as quick as i can because even though we don't get really really harsh winters usually down here it does get cold so i want to make sure that people are warm and with the hats that I make for them also I want to make sure that they're well put together and nice and you know as tight as possible for warmth you know if anybody wants anything pretty that's fine too because I'll be like okay that's gonna cost X amount and I don't charge a lot but everything that I do make goes back in the yarn so that I can help out our community but anyway I did make something else but I can't show that because that's um not um kid friendly it's not completely gross but it's a gag gift you can imagine yeah use your imagination but anyway um just wanted to give everybody a quick update on what's up and gonna try and get some things done later just want to get done with cleaning and working on another if I can get it and working on this another gnome jar it takes me forever and a day to get done with all the loopy hair and I know some look shorter and it's some looks longer but that's just because whenever i lay it down it gets bunched up but whenever you pull it on pull it on the strands a little bit they kind of lengthen back out some Doo -doo 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 -doo. there we go see it gets longer but then i'll lay it back down on the couch while i make more and they'll bunch back up again. So once I'm done, then I'll just have them coming near the bottom, but not on the bottom, just because I don't want them dragging like that. And then whenever I get done with them, um, I'll just put candies and stuff. Well, I will once I get candies to go in them, because I want to have them set out for my grandchildren but anyway I'm getting back to crocheting of course waiting on my husband because it's Friday yay and he gets off early on Friday thankfully he's gonna work tomorrow also but he just comes here to sleep and then he goes back home <laughs> that's what it seems like to me anyway anyway hope you all have a very wonderful Friday Oh, have a great weekend. It's Halloween weekend, so. And usually, I watch certain movies because it's just, and I haven't even gotten a chance to do that because I've been busy with um, all kinds of things that, um, some things just family stuff, you know. Nothing bad, just family stuff. Anyway, have a wonderful morning, no noon or night. Have a great weekend, all that good fun fun stuff god bless you all and i'll be seeing you guys later bye